Hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle? Ragnar the Blood Edge versus Soul Bad Guy. Yes, Soul Bad Guy. He's the only one. Or he's Celestial. But yes, click here to go to the official release, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Then come back here and we'll watch it together. So if you don't know these two characters, you're just like me. I don't know them at all because I haven't played their games. It's simple as that. But we have Ragnar the Blood Edge from, I believe it's Blaze Blue. And you have Soul Bad Guy from Guilty Gear. So if you wanted to look up their wikis or whatever, there you go. Or, you know, if you wanted to play their games. I don't have anything to support Guilty Gear, but I'm wearing this red shirt, even if it looks black, for blaze like fire. And this blue jacket for blue like blue. And that's about as far as I can go before I watch the analysis. So let's get to watching. Here we go, guys. Another new death battle. No anime tough guy trope is complete unless he has outrageous spiky hair, a sword that's clearly compensating for something, <laughs> and belts. Lots and lots of belts. You know, white hair Rock means you're awesome. Blood and so bad guy, the flame of corruption. Oh. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, like armor, Soul, and skills. Soul better to actually be a bad guy, otherwise I'll be disappointed death. with his name. Nearly a century ago, humanity was hunted to near extinction by the fearsome Black Beast. Oh. Fortunately, six brave heroes slayed the monster and saved mankind. The remains of humanity was reorganized under an oppressive government until one course, man right? decided to rise up. Ragna, the Blood Edge. Whoa! He has, like, dichromatic eyes. It's dichromatic, right? Yeah, I think so. That looks cool. Baggy pants, giant sword, fruiting personality. <laughs> Ragna has tragic backstory written <laughs> all over him. I'd actually go with Gruesome. As a young child, he and his siblings were confined in an experimental facility as lab rats. Uh oh. Bummer. What were they trying to do? No one knows. The important thing here is they were rescued by a talking cat named Jubei, who also happened to be the most feared warrior on the planet. Oh, good for you, Jubei. However, things took a darker <laughs> turn when Ragna's sister, Saya, grew very sick. With what? Sickness? Oh. No one knows. Ragna took okay. Saya under his wing, but their younger brother Jin was irritated that Ragna was not spending more time with him. Being a reasonable guy, he decided the only solution was to murder his brother. Wow. Oh yeah, that makes a ton of sense. <laughs> I'm lonely. I'll kill one of the only people I care about. Great plan. So Thank you, Boomstick. Voice of reason this time. Jeremy showed up out of nowhere, helped Jin impale Ragna through the chest, and then cut off his arm for good measure. Mm. Why? How? No one knows. Have you familiarized yourself with that phrase yet? Good, because it's not stopping anytime That's soon. That's great. Moving on for sanity's That's what sake, I love in backstories. Ragnar would have been done for until an omniscient, time-traveling, pig-tailed vampire descended from the heavens, snapped her fingers, magicked him a new arm, and left. No, no, don't think. Just accept. <laughs> Surprisingly still conscious, okay. and apparently an expert of things that have never happened before, Ragna instantly recognized his new appendage as an azure grimoire. A piece oh. of the Black Beast, which Ragna can use to manipulate Seether. Seether is a radioactive energy left behind by the Black Beast all over the world. Okay. Like magic. Well, no, magic is totally different. Oh. But it lets him do magic type stuff. Yes. Does it count oh, as magic? Okay. Well, after missing out on the maiming and resurrection of Ragna, Jubei the Cat Ninja returned and decided to teach him the ways of combat. Okay. Where the hell was he before? No one knows. Probably destroying someone's furniture or pissing <laughs> in their shoes. Why would they explain his that? Training, Too Ragnar's much work. control over Seether became practically unmatched. He can form various parts of the Black Beast in combat, transform his own arm into razor-sharp claws, oh. or drain the soul of his foe through his strikes. Ooh. But if he needs more power, more defense, and more soul-sucking, he can crank these up to 11 with his blood cane form. 11. Upon completing his training, Jubei bestowed upon him a red cloak and a deadly blade called Blood Sight. It's this a good thing he was strong enough to hold that blade. For stabbing strikes, and like the Azur Grimoire, slowly drains the souls of its victims upon contact. The Blood Edge, before okay. before you point out that it's clearly a sword, not a scythe, it can do this. I feel like some inspiration for Ruby came from this. You know, with red, right? I've only seen the trailers. World tour of single-handed government smashing, earning him the nickname the Grim Reaper. Oh, and I thought the blood edge. Unprecedented bounty of ninety billion, whatever their currency is. Ninety no one billion. Knows. 
and even though that might not be a ton if their currency sucks. Time, he still freely walks the world on but then again, foot those other ones are really low. Wow. No attempt to disguise himself whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because nobody wants to piss him off. We're talking about a guy who treats getting knocked through solid concrete as an inconvenience, hmm. has survived multiple impalings through the chest, took out hundreds of armed officers without breaking a sweat, and obliterated an entire street with a single one-hand sword strike. Ragna is referred to by some as the most powerful man in the world, hmm. but he's also known as a risk taker with a short temper. Where's his brother and during all this? That's what I want to know. The most dangerous kitty cat in the world, Ragna is obviously nowhere near Jubei's level of skill, who terrifies even the deadliest villains of the series. Really? But after all was said and done, Jubei left Ragna with a dire warning. Never think of the Azure Grimoire as your own. Which is kind of bullshit. I mean, it's attached to him, yeah. so I'm pretty sure he's got dibs. Well, he does, but if he loses control over it, it can transform him into the Black Beast itself. Oh. In fact, Ragna was the original Black Beast, sent back in time after falling into a magic cauldron. The two were somehow separated and did battle in the past. These events would repeat themselves in a 100-year time loop until this chick saved Ragna from falling into that cauldron, oh. stopping the Black Beast from appearing in the past in the first place. But if the Black Beast never went back in time, then it would never have created Seether. And everything in Blaze Blue shouldn't exist as we know it. So how? No one knows. Boom sick, you're so smart in this one. <laughs> make this guy fight someone now. <laughs> I'm the main character, and yet again, I get left in the dark. It's really starting to piss me off. We're all kind of left in the dark here. Don't worry, Ragna. Way Not back alone. In the year 2010. The discovery of magic forever changed the course of human history. I feel like that's not true. Traditional technology was eliminated for newer, environmentally friendly methods. And after improving the planet, a certain world superpower sought to improve mankind itself. Which oh, super hey, another super soldier project. Let me okay. guess, they injected this guy with some serum and it didn't really work out the way they wanted, <laughs> but now he's a badass. Replace serum with magic and close enough. They filled him with magic. This man would emerge oh. as the feared bounty hunter, Soul Bad Guy. So he's clearly the bad guy. Actually, he's the main hero of the story. Dang it! <laughs> Before Soul's transformation, he was known as Frederick, a scientist tasked with leading the Super Soldier Project alongside his Frederick. love interest, Arya. No wonder but they changed the name. intended to or not, Frederick would become the prototype of this new super race, the Gears. But okay. is he guilty? Oh, hell yeah. He was responsible for Arya's death. Oh. And then her next death when she was resurrected into this thing. Oh, wasn't expecting her to look like that. No. But not as much as I wasn't expecting the blue robo piece. <laughs> Who even does that? She was likely created as a giant F you to poor soul right. by that man. Which man? That man. I only see soul. Great, now man. I can no, only no, look at that. that man. It's just you and me here, Wiz. Listen, the villain is that man. So bad guys, the hero and the villain. No, no, he's another character. Just, uh, just pretend. The character's so name is that man. You mean he's invisible? When this person <laughs> was born into the world, his parents looked at this child and decided they would name him that man. Who were they looking at, Wiz? <laughs> his name is T H A T Space M. This is the best thing ever. Well, F U C K Space. <laughs> Why who you? I'm out. <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, that was I great. Looked at the internet and discovered that his actual name is that man. <laughs> I apologize for earlier. <laughs> Let's move on. It's so like who's on first, what's on second? An appearance to disguise uh. his true gear form. So okay. he developed a special limiter headpiece to keep his own power at bay. If that thing Rock comes you. up, oh. say goodbye to whoever recently pissed him off. As a gear, Soul's aging was slowed to a near halt, allowing him more than enough time to develop his own fighting style. Well, whatever okay. fighting style lets you punch fire, that's the one I want to learn. <laughs> Soul's volcanic viper and Fafnir punches are flame-enhanced strikes, while his riot stomp flies in with a fearsome kick. Cool. And because this is anime, Soul can trigger his second form, the Dragon Install. Oh. The Dragon Install allows Soul to safely tap into a fraction of his full gear power, hmm. boosting his strength, speed, and healing ability. The drawback, he can only sustain this power for so long, and afterward, he's left vulnerable. As Soul wandered the Earth, that man began a plan for world domination using an army of gears. In response, Soul put together a gear obliterating super weapon called Outrage. Okay. Which looks like the world's most complicated can opener. <laughs> or next gen bop it. Turns oh, out it was so powerful it. nobody could wield it, not even Soul. Oh. So he had to split it apart into eight pieces just to make it usable. 
Naturally, he took the best piece for himself, the flame-enhanced fire seal. Oh. I want a fire seal. That'd be fucking sweet. <laughs> Try and eat me now, Orca Whale. Fire <laughs> seal. <laughs> I think that's what I meant. To its full potential, Soul defeated that man's forces twice over. Hmm. And then he decided to upgrade the shit out of it with the Junkyard Dog Mark III casing. But this is hardly the full extent of Soul's power. Is it a god? He once survived the backyard, an alternate dimension which would annihilate the soul of a normal man. And by removing his headband, he can access his full unrestrained potential. Right, which is like what? When he shot a laser out of his sword to incinerate an inhuman gear the size of Mount Everest. And once he went okay. back in time and witnessed his past self get murdered, which should have erased him from the present a la Marty McFly. But he didn't like that idea very much, so he just didn't. After Blaze Blue, nothing is too bizarre for me anymore. He did what? Soul is powerful, but fears his full potential. He's also pretty lazy. Okay. His favorite strategy is always whichever is the least strenuous. This lack of extra effort can sometimes leave him underestimating his opponent. But the second he starts trying, few can stand in his way. Okay. Cool. Here we go all then. Right, the I think there's going to be an advertisement. Debate, so I'm going to pause it it's when it's time, time to pause it. And pause. Right, so hopefully there's no advertisement. Let's get to talking about this really quick. Right now, I'm leaning in favor of Soul Bad Guy to win. Even though I prefer Ragna the Blood Edge as a character just from these analyses. To me, it seems like Rat- or not Ragna. Soul has more potential in his power. Like they said, he, he has that one ability to unlock a like fraction of his full gear or whatever it was called power. And then it was like really bloody, you know, difficult to beat him. Like he was he became really powerful. I um, mean that's only a fraction of it. Um, I guess he can't go full power. Can he go full power without like losing control of himself? He must, right? I don't remember them saying anything about it. I, well, why have the headband otherwise? Anyway, I think that that power might be a bit too much for Ragna. But then I think back to Ragna, and this is where I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they said that Ragna himself took on and defeated the Black Beast or whatever it was called on his own, but if that's like the apocalyptic monster and he took it out on his own, then he's obviously pretty powerful. Sure, you know, Soul the Bad, or Soul Bad Guy, not Soul the Bad Guy. Um, he took out the Mount Everest gear thing, you know, on his own with a giant beam that was at his strongest. And so, I don't know, and given that he underestimates his opponents, Ragna might be able to take him on. I, hmm. Okay, so even if Ragna didn't defeat the Black Beast on his own, um, I forgot the cat's name, Jubai? Jubei? Something like that, you know. Um, told him that he can't consider his arm magic power thingy his own, because if he uses it too much or whatever, then it can take him over and turn him into the Black Beast itself. Now, at first I was thinking that, okay, obviously he can't use that then, but he can use it in this battle, and it would still mean that if he won, he would be the winner, not Black Beast necessarily. So, that could tip the turn. Well, that's not a phrase. That could tip things in his favor. I don't know for sure. Let me decide now. I'm gonna go with this reasoning. Because I want Ragna to win more, and because I do see good potential in him, I can see ways that he would win based on my limited knowledge, I'm gonna say that he will win. But then again, if Soul Bad Guy wins, I won't be surprised. Unless, like, you know, their um, conclusion just messes with me. But yeah, with that, we're gonna continue, so play! So, I'm thinking Ragna's going to win. I at least want him to win again. If Soul wins, it'll probably make sense to me, because, yeah, I think he's really powerful. Oh, duh, yeah, Bounty Hunter. Mercenary kind of thing. I think Bounty. Who are you? Out of my way, you're dead. Okay. Why is he Japanese if he has English on his? Over with. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, not to mention Ragnar also has the whole blood sucking. That was nice. <laughs> oh. Six 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 release. Six six six. An imaginary number four. Oh, place blue's a thing. Okay. Every time he hits with the sword, he's getting healed, right? Ow. But not that much, ow. If it wasn't enough force to break a building, yeah. 
Uh oh. He's not gone yet, he still has to take his headband off all the way. Asshole. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! The power's going out! And it's still raining! So he did become the Black Beast. Yep, okay, let's see how Solo takes this. Come on, take your headband off! Yeah, there we go. Do they not have sprites for that? Oh. Ragnar put up a tough fight, but Sol had him outclassed. Likely due to the fact that while Ragnar had on four belts, Sol had 18. Sol's centuries <laughs> worth of fighting experience trumped Ragnar's training, and he has consistently shaken off wounds more easily. Mm. Even Sol's, um, Sol is tough enough to withstand Ragnar's Azur Grimoire, just like when it survived the backyard. The Black Beast was impressive, but Sol's gear form is leagues above. Oh. Recall when Sol turned that gear the size of Mount Everest into dust. By comparing the size of the gear to the clouds, we can determine its volume to be around 140 billion cubic meters. Okay. Destroying something this size would require more than 85 gigatons of TNT. That's nearly 200 times more powerful than the 9.0 earthquake that hit Japan in 2011. More than enough to take Ragna down, and that was only a fraction of Soul's real power. Ragna just burn out in the end. The winner cool. is Soul Bad Guy. Good for Soul. Perhaps for Soul. Now. We get to see who's next. Next time on Death Battle. Gara? Gara? Ah! This is exactly the Death Battle that I wanted to see. Dang it, I know who's gonna win, I think. I am very happy right now, though. This is exactly the, if you watch any of my Q&As, here it is, which death battle do you want to see? Oh, I want to see Gar versus Toph. Guys, look on the screen. I drew a picture of it. You can Google Gar versus Toph, and that's my picture. I drew that. I'm a bad artist, but I. New show, the desk of death battle. Then we don't have to pay her. Or if you demand more blood, check out Great Moments in Gaming's latest episode on Mortal Kombat. Just gonna let this play out. Hear the dialogue. Oh, future death battle episodes are moving to Wednesdays, a whole two days early. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cool. Stop! Don't go. Click the like button. Oh, Do sorry. It. I will. Also, like, tell everyone you know about this. Share. Okay. Share away. Will do. And if Thanks. If you're not already Let's subscribed, see. then click subscribe. I'm subscribed. Don't worry. Please. I did. Gosh, Boomstick. You have no faith in me. Gar versus Toph. That's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that Soul won. I wanted Ragna to win, but you can only stretch that stuff so far. What I wanted to know before that, though, was, like, how strong those... I forget what they're called. The gears, the one that he... Mount Everest won. How strong are they? Because the volume actually only gives you so much. Like, I can back up their stuff, and, you know, they've used that kind of calculation at other times. But, like, if you have a giant bubble, you know, they could have the same amount of volume or whatever, but some anything could pop it. And so, you know, it's... it's D dependent on the volume, the density, like how much mass is packed in there, like the hardness and everything of that mass, that matter. So, yeah. But, you know, I'll go with it. I can totally, I can totally say that I see how Soul won. So, not disappointed in that. I'm pretty happy with the fight animation. It certainly wasn't my favorite just because nothing really, like, stood out to me. Basically, everything I expected to happen except the outcome happened, you know? Like, he started going more into, he being Ragna, started going more into the arm thing, and then, you know, Ra or Soul, their names, started tapping into his potential, and then he went full Black Beast, and then he took off his headband, and so all that, you know, wasn't a surprise. There were no, like, pleasant moments, really, of laughter for me, like, nothing, nothing was, you know, like, the fight was as good as it needed to be, and that's awesome, you know, it was a very good fight, and the animation was just fine. But there was nothing exactly special about it to me. But that could very well just be based upon my expectations. So, yeah, it could be special to you, and that's awesome if it is. But the analysis, the analyses, rather, both of them, for this one, was... 
It was awesome. It was so funny. I don't know if they intended to do a, you know, who's on first, what's on second reference, but the thing that they had play out between Wiz and Boomstick and, you know, that guy and having all the, you know, like, unexplanations for Blaze Blue, it was great. It was great and I loved it. So yeah, the fight was good. Nothing against you, the animator. I don't want to make you feel bad and me saying that it wasn't anything special. It was very well done. In terms of animation, that was very nice, so kudos to you. Um, the analyses, they were hilarious, so Wiz and Boomstick, good job there. Uh, the outcome makes sense. I do wish I had more information on, like, the big gear things or, like, the strength of the Black Beast or whatever, but that's just, you know, due to me not having knowledge because I never played the games. It's not your fault or anyone else's. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed this death battle. And I am really looking forward to Toph versus Gara. <laughs> so with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care. Cue outro, go!